Abruzzo. A place where the peaks of mountains challenge the sky, and the winds carry the whispers of antiquity. In this setting, villages shine like they've emerged from ancient legends. These gems of art and history are an irresistible invitation to delve into the depths of a past that still dances with the present. Welcome to Abruzzo, a region where every stone tells a secret, every road narrates an adventure, and every square whispers the stories of those who have traversed it through the centuries. Before we begin, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Let's embark on this journey directly into the nature reserve of Gole del Sagittario, with Anversa degli Abruzzi. An authentic jewel of antiquity. The ascent to this village perched on the mountains reveals a journey into the past. Stone houses, weathered by time, line intricate alleys that are narrow and winding. Every corner offers extraordinary panoramic views, with mountain peaks seemingly touching the azure sky. Local traditions, rooted in religious festivals and annual fairs, blend with modern life, creating an indelible link between the present and the millennia-old past of this village. The houses, whose colors blend perfectly with the surrounding rocks, seem to merge with the environment, creating a visual harmony and a sense of belonging that is truly unique and rare. As the second destination on our journey, let's choose Civitella del Tronto, in the province of Teramo. A village that evokes medieval epic deeds, it's a living testament to history. Its fortress, one of the largest in Europe, majestically dominates the surrounding valley, conveying a sense of grandeur and magnificence. The imposing stone walls tell tales of centuries-old battles, heroes, and conquests, still today conveying a sense of reverential respect. But the village is not merely a monument to past warrior exploits, the stone streets, adorned with arches and covered passages, lead to tranquil and welcoming squares. Here, art and culture harmoniously blend with the landscape, creating a sense of continuity between the past and the present. Now let's move to Pacentro, in the province of L'Aquila. Enchanting to the eyes and soul. The stone houses, each with a story to tell, seem to emerge from the ground like natural sculptures. The facades, blending architectural elements from different eras, are like pages from an open history book in the wind. Strolling along the many narrow streets gives the impression of walking through the folds of an ancient tale, between the lives of generations past and the vitality of today. The Church of Santa Maria Maggiore, with its tower reaching toward the sky and intricate architectural details, represents a magnificent example of fusion between different styles, a true treasure trove of artistic treasures that recount the passion and devotion of its builders. Still in the province of L'Aquila, we find Scano. A village suspended between reality and the unreal, it's an authentic image of serenity and beauty. The stone houses, with their simple yet evocative architecture, seem to reflect like masterful paintings on the calm waters of its lake. 
In this magical setting, reflections create an almost unreal landscape, like a dream materialized. Here, local craftsmanship is far more than a profession, it's a manifestation of love for tradition and respect for cultural heritage. Residents, with warm and genuine smiles, welcome visitors like long-lost friends, offering a glimpse into daily life and the culture that makes them unique. Pesco Costanzo, on the other hand, is a village of elegance and beauty located in the Mayela National Park. The colorful facades of houses, in pastel tones, stand like three-dimensional works of art, adorned with wrought iron balconies and frescoed windows. Every architectural detail tells its story, a moment frozen in time. The cobblestone streets, curved and sinuous, seem to dance to the rhythm of an ancient melody, taking tourists on a journey through centuries of history and culture. The Baroque churches, with their elaborate facades and sumptuous interiors, are a tangible example of the fusion between art and spirituality, a heritage that locals proudly and devotedly safeguard. At about 1,460 meters above sea level, perched atop a rock, we find Ropka Kalashcho. A place that seems to have sprung from the pages of a fairy tale, it enchants with its majesty and pristine charm. The fortress, towering like a sentinel over the surrounding landscape, appears to challenge time with its imposing presence. The village, clinging to the mountainside, seems to embrace the fortress affectionately, creating a unique and captivating setting. The Church of Santa Maria della Pieta, also a precious fragment of the past, adds an element of spirituality to this magical place. But it's the breathtaking panorama from the top of the fortress that steals the breath away, it embraces the valleys and mountain peaks, a visual experience that makes one feel small and in harmony with nature. Now let's discover Santo Stefano di Sesano, in the province of L'Aquila. A fortified village enveloped by ancient walls, it's a journey through time and beauty. The stone houses, beautifully restored since the 2000s, seem cradled by the loving arms of the surrounding mountains. Every stone, every brick tells an ancient story, bringing to light the experiences of those who inhabited these places centuries ago. The charming streets lead to intimate squares, where one can sit and sip coffee while admiring life flowing calmly and unhurriedly. The artisan workshops, where residents dedicate themselves to creating unique objects and the art of restoration, represent the pulsating heart of this village, a tangible demonstration of love for traditions and attention to detail. Taliacozzo, with its name derived from Latin meaning cut in the rock, is a village surrounded by millennia-old walls, in the province of L'Aquila. The stone streets, opening up like small paths of discovery, lead to lively squares with cafes and stalls.
Here, residents gather to socialize and share moments of daily life, creating a sense of community that seems to have preserved itself intact over the centuries. Historical palaces, with their ornate facades and architectural details, are a fascinating journey through different eras, a tribute to the skill of artisans from the past and the present. In the province of Kedi, we find Rokuskalenya. With its castle rising like a guardian on the rocky spur, it appears as a work of art carved into nature. The streets leading to the castle offer spectacular views of the valley below, transporting visitors to an enchanted world. The pristine and lush surrounding nature harmoniously blends with the village, creating an idyllic landscape. Local traditions, celebrated in festivals and cultural events, help keep the bond between past and present alive, bestowing the village with an authentic and vibrant soul. Finally, let's explore Somona, in the province of L'Aquila. A cultural gem nestled in the Abruzzo Mountains, it offers a captivating journey through art, history, and gastronomy. Elegant squares, surrounded by Renaissance palaces, seem to preserve the echoes of centuries of events and people who have passed through them. The Cathedral of San Panfilo, with its imposing bell tower, dominates the main square and represents a symbol of faith and devotion. But it's the production of confetti, colorful and delicious sweets, that makes Somona a village known beyond its borders. Local artisans, with skills passed down from generation to generation, transform sugar into true works of art, infusing this centuries-old tradition with a touch of modernity and creativity. For now, our journey ends here. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It doesn't cost you anything, but it's very important for us. Join us in the upcoming videos to discover many more fascinating destinations.